Two men standing trial for hatching a murderous plot from their jail cells to firebomb the home of two judges have been acquitted. It took a jury three days to reach a decision, but they failed to agree on everything. Police believed District Court Judges Paul Rice and his wife Rosemary Davey were in grave danger from two prison inmates. But a jury didn't agree. Frederick Wolkowski and jailmate Hendrik van Schaik found not guilty of conspiring to murder them. He's very relieved. He's, a, he's an unwell man. And he's, de he's denied these charges from the very moment the police first spoke to him. Despite the acquittal, Wilkowski, who's terminally ill, remains in custody, still serving a 17-year sentence handed to him by Judge Rice. It was the length of that term and Wilkowski's subsequent hatred for the man who imposed it, which had been considered the motive by the prosecution. The trial heard Wilkowski offered his accomplice Van Schaik $20,000 to firebomb the home of the married judges. Is your brother relieved he's been acquitted but the jury could not reach a verdict on the other serious allegations the pair faced of conspiring to set fire to the house of chief inspector Craig Wall the director of public prosecutions will now decide whether to retry the pair on those charges I would have urged them to drop all charges in the beginning but certainly the remaining two Live now to the Supreme Court where there's been a development Kim Robertson is there Kim one of the accused men has been granted bail Yes, that's right, Kate. Hendrik Van Schaik has spent exactly a year to the date in jail awaiting trial for these offences, but tomorrow he will walk free from prison despite still facing the prospect of a retrial on the remaining charges. But it almost, it almost didn't happen because Van Schaik originally asked to be bailed to the address of his ex-partner, but there were concerns for potential drug abuse and the close proximity of that house to the house of the police officer involved in the remaining charges. But a judge did allow Van Schaik to be bailed to the address to live with his mother in Port Pirie on strict conditions that he obey a curfew between 9pm and 6am, that he and his brother cough up $10,000 as a cash surety and that he doesn't go within a kilometre of the police officer's house. Back to you. Kim, thank you.